three, two, one. <laughs> Arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Ooh, dry your eyes. The world can always give you reasons to cry. Understand, you're stronger than you. Budapest right now. So on Wednesday, whatever day that was, Wednesday at 4.35, I took a flight from Atlanta to Paris. That was an overnight one. Really did not sleep much at all, maybe an hour or two. And then went from Paris to Budapest, where I am now. And for the next 10 days, I'll be doing the Budapest to Bucharest EF Ultimate Breaks trip. It is going to Hungary, obviously, because that's where we are, Serbia and Romania. And so I am very excited for all that is to come. So far, when we got to the airport, just took a taxi back to the hotel, all organized by EF which has been great. I love not having to come up with my own itinerary. And we just like walked around the city just a little bit, but I just got freshened up, which was very much needed, especially before actually starting a video because I was greasy. I was stinky. Being on the plane is hard, but my PTO that I've been alluding to, my travel that I've been alluding to, my time off that I've been alluding to, this is it. I am in Budapest and I won't do this spiel like every time, but EF Ultimate Breaks is a like travel group essentially for people ages 18 to 29. I will leave my link and a discount code if you want to dollars off in my description for all of these videos but this is my first time with them i picked this trip and i'm paying for it by myself so they're not having anything to do with that but i am an ambassador so if you do want to use that code and my link you can get a hundred dollars off so as i mentioned this trip is going hungary romania and serbia what's pretty typical for ef trips is we have a welcome dinner tonight which is in about three hours or so i was really glad to be one of the people like that came in the morning group so there was a group of us at the airport and like i said our tour director just like got a taxi and we all got to come back here and so I checked into the hotel it's a pretty nice hotel and it's in like the city center of Budapest so right across from the great market hall so we went and kind of walked around didn't get anything just kind of saw like what it was about the view let me show you the view don't get your hopes up though <laughs> this is the view I think you can see sky up there just a little bit but yeah my energy is low because I did not sleep last night I did get some coffee so like I'm doing okay it's kind of that like mania okay though and the sun it's kind of that mania okay though where it's like I know I should be exhausted because I didn't sleep at all but also I'm just ready for the day like I'm so excited and it's bright and sunny outside so like why would it be nighttime for me so the energy will be higher up tomorrow the next day all of that I'm excited to see kind of like how I can vlog and show because honestly this part of the world is one that I've never come to before and never really thought about visiting before and so very excited but just wanted to get the video started a little bit you know I cannot think of the last time I truly pulled an all-nighter like I think the last time I pulled an all-nighter like this would have been like an overnight flight back in like 2019 or something like I'm a stickler for bedtime so I'm a different version of myself than you've ever seen before <laughs>
Hello from Budapest again, except this time I'm more alive and ready to take on the day. So I guess technically this is like day two, maybe day one and a half of being in Budapest. So welcome to a little day in the life in Budapest. I feel revitalized. I've slept and I have no memory of what I talked about yesterday. I remember I did a clip, but traveling is exhausting. And like I said, I finally slept, so we're doing good. But yesterday we got back from the airport and then basically just kind of like hung around, walked around a little bit before having our welcome dinner. And that was the first thing like by EF. And so we did a bit of a walking tour just like casually on the way to dinner and then ate dinner at a restaurant it was called fat mama but i had paprika chicken which was good and at the welcome dinner just like everybody sits and eats together so you get to know all the people on the trip so now i've met everyone who's on this trip with me i didn't know anybody at all going into it but obviously like now i'm getting to know people and obviously everyone is friendly so traveling by yourself with this group is fun quite a few people are by themselves like myself after dinner we were probably at dinner maybe like an hour hour and a half or so just like chatting after dinner we walked back to the hotel and went to bed because for obvious reasons you know and then this morning like i said i'm a whole new person so the plans for today is we have our actual official sightseeing tour of budapest and so we'll walk around i think we'll bus around a little bit see some of the big sites and i'm very excited for that especially because i feel like i don't know really anything or much about budapest like i know its existence and that's about it i just learned a couple days ago that it's actually buddha and pest like it's two cities that then together make budapest Budapest. Who would have thunk? And then we also have a thermal bath excursion today. And so this was like one of the additional add-ons. I forget how much it was, but it really wasn't that much through EF. And so we'll go to the thermal baths, heard they're warm, heard they're beautiful. Because of the water element, I think today's gonna be a camera phone day instead of a camera day. But honestly, you probably won't even notice that much of a difference. And then the rest of the time, like the rest of the day is just kind of free for us to do what we want. And so we'll grab lunch. I have a vision and I was just talking about it with some of the people. I have a vision of like sitting at one of the outdoor restaurants, you know, how they like on European streets they have outdoor restaurants having some great food like maybe like a little glass of wine just like chatting and people watching while there's like music playing in the background and that's my vision for lunch or dinner today and then I also kind of want to go out tonight just while I have energy and while we're in Budapest and so we'll kind of see what happens there but it's a fun mix of planned activities while also having like lots of time to be free and kind of do what you want but we do have a tour director who can like give us recommendations and tell us where to go and everything so very excited I feel like a whole new person ready to take the day. I'm wearing my <laughs> favorite shirt that if you watch this channel you very much probably recognize at this point. I got it and haven't stopped wearing it but I'll see you for the sightseeing tour. I'm so excited. <laughs> Trembling 
walking tour was definitely a success today. Lots of walking, but we also took a bus, which was cool. So I think I got a healthy amount of clips to show Budapest off just a little bit more. It was like perfect weather. And then we went to the thermal baths, which kind of just felt like human soup a little bit. It's like a public bathhouse. And the pools, they said that they were like hot and got hotter. Honestly, none of them were as hot as any hot tubs I've ever been in. So like I said, a little bit of human soup, but it was cool and the architecture was cool and it was relaxing, especially after like traveling for so long and then walking for so long. So very good. For lunch, we went to, I forget what it was called, but we had, oh gosh, we had a Hungarian food that I also forget what it was called, but essentially it was deep fried dough and then like traditionally, I guess it has sour cream and cheese on it. I got the vegan version just to be nicer to my digestive system and the vegan version was really good too. Like the vegan cheese was really good, tasted really good, definitely felt like a rock in my stomach afterwards, but tasted really good. So that was awesome. The other like traditional Hungarian thing I had today was dobosh, I think is what it was called, cake. And it was almost like bread like cake, like not super sweet, layered with like super sweet chocolate, kind of icing, kind of thicker than icing. And so many of those layers and then like a caramel top, that was really good. And we had it up by the Fisherman's Bastillion, which was like, or Bastion. I really need to do my research before I make these clips so I don't see. <laughs> I promise I'm learning things, but it's like this really beautiful fortress looking thing with cool picture opportunities and really cool views. And then we used the metro to come back from the thermal baths to the hotel. Had like a little latte just to kind of pep me up a little bit. I feel like it's working. I feel pepped up a bit. And then tonight we're gonna go find a place to eat dinner on like one of the pedestrian streets. I had said this morning that I have like this vision that at some point on this trip, I really want to just like be sitting outside in those like outside cafes, have like some good food, a drink, good company obviously, and just like people watch with like a street performer nearby, like music playing. That's the vibes I'm going for. And then we have a river cruise tonight on the Danube, Danube, Danube. <laughs> I really need to learn how to pronounce these things. River at night, which I've heard is going to be beautiful and I believe is going to be beautiful. And then after that, the plan, I feel like I have to do, lots of times I try to like show not tell but i feel like i have to tell in this type of vlog because i'm not able to just like talk all the time we're gonna go to ruins bars really excited to go there i think that's all the context for earlier today and then upcoming today but as you can tell like a lot has been fit into a day and thankfully i'm still feeling good and tomorrow's our free day so we're gonna do more then which is awesome i know i mentioned this at the beginning of the video but it's ef ultimate breaks and so use my link and my code if you want to come on one too i'm really looking forward just for all the days to come because there's still a lot of days to come this is literally day i guess it's like day two but it feels like day one and a half because yesterday did yesterday happen get ready for the river views because that's gonna be awesome <laughs> It is the next morning now and I got a late start on today, which for a second I was feeling bad about. Like I was like, oh no, I should have woken up early. But really I got a late start on today because I got a late end to last night. So I still have the same amount of hours in my travel trips, you know? So what little recap since I've seen you last, we ended up going to dinner. One of the like restaurants that has just tables out on the street that I just love. I ended up getting veal mincemeat and it had like grilled cauliflower and mashed potatoes, caramelized onions. And so it was really delicious. And then after dinner, 
we did end up going to our river cruise, which was really pretty and was only about $20 in Hungarian, but, or it might've even been booked in euros, but it was about $20 and it was about an hour just cruising down the river whenever the lights were on, it was all dark outside. Seeing a parliament, the parliament building was definitely the highlight. It's the huge one, the huge gold one that was so beautiful that I'm sure I included in the clips. After that river cruise, like I said, we were planning to, we went out to the ruins bars, which what I learned is the ruins bars, I hope I get the story right. Essentially, it's the old Jewish quarter, like the old Jewish neighborhood. And during the socialist era, I believe, of Hungary, that neighborhood went vacant. And so it was just kind of going, you know, into disarray, into ruins. And some corporation was coming in and they were going to tear all of the buildings down to then like rebuild new modern apartment. And so then the city kind of came together and as a movement started putting businesses back into those ruins. But they maintained some of the ruined this nature of them. And so the club we ended up going to, I do not remember its name. I can put it if I want to, but it was really fun. There was so many different rooms is what you kept getting me. It was so huge. And so because it was the ruins bar, was, so much of it was like kind of cement block, like cinder block exposed. It wasn't quite brick, but maybe it was kind of brick. Just like exposed walls, kind of exposed ground, but they decorated it so that it was, you know, fun and hip now. And so we ended up staying there until about 2 a.m. and then walked on home. And so that's why I'm getting a little bit later started today is because I didn't want to be dead today but we do have a free day in Budapest and so I'm going to end this video here since I started this video in Atlanta which is crazy in this video here and obviously I'll continue taking videos kind of see like where today takes me and then we also have exciting different countries we're going to coming up and so very very pumped for that like I said I'm gonna try not to be too annoying about it but if you are looking for a trip kind of like this and you're between the ages of 18 and 29 you can use my link and the code down below to get a hundred dollars off you have to use the link from what I've heard for the code to work and that's yeah have ultimate breaks but then also ef has different branches so if you are over 29 they also have like a different branch i think it's called what's it called ef go ahead tours that's what it is where you can look and see if there's any itineraries that really match you so that's that little spiel i'm gonna go find breakfast and coffee and find people see what they're up to and i'll see you next time